In the 2013 blockbuster movie Elysium, we are introduced to a fictional space station of immense beauty, a luxurious wheel-shaped habitat floating in the heavens. Although it may seem out of this world, Elysium's design is backed by science and is actually very realistic. In this video, we will explore how humanity could build a real-world Elysium in the near future. Okay, let's start with everything we know about the station. A hybrid of the Bishop Ring and Stanford Taurus, Elysium is a five-spoked, open-roof Taurus approximately 60 kilometers in diameter, located 20,000 kilometers above Earth's surface. It spins a full rotation every six minutes to produce a force which imitates Earth's gravity, keeping the residents from floating out into space. To maintain its atmosphere, Elysium uses a thin layer of controlled plasma, strong enough to prevent air from escaping, but weak enough to allow ships to pass through. This technology is mostly fictional, and for a real station, we would build a solid glass roof. Anyways, Elysium has a depth of 2 kilometers and 377 square kilometers of habitable surface that can host up to 869,000 people in a suburban and luxurious environment. However, if Elysium's surface was an urban environment, it could host up to 10 million people. So, we know what it is, but how could we build Elysium? Well, the science is solid. It's just a question of money and materials. The biggest hurdle is obtaining the raw materials to build such a megastructure. To cover Elysium with a layer of one meter thick steel, we would need approximately one times 10 to the ninth cubic meters of steel. That is 4.2 times the world's total steel production in 2019. With current prices, that would cost $5 trillion. That is a lot of money but it's feasible. And with economies of scale and cheaper prices due to space mining, that price could probably be dropped to only a couple trillion dollars in the future. Including transportation, assembly, and other expenses, a real-life Elysium would probably cost around five trillion dollars. Only the extremely wealthy could afford it. Like the movie, it would be a paradise. Beautiful buildings, homes, and gardens would cover the landscape. Transports from Earth would bring all of the best food and art up for the wealthy to enjoy, leaving the poor on Earth with nothing but the scraps. A real-life Elysium could end up just like the movie, a private getaway for the affluent, resulting in social tensions and conflict. What do you think? Will we have a real-world Elysium in the future? And if we do, will it cause conflict? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, it would be really appreciated if you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.